Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Medio. In this video, we are going to promote a server to be a domain controller. So, for this video demonstration, I'm using VirtualBox and previously we created Virtual Machine and installed our operating system. Already here, as we can see, Server 2019, Virtual Machine created and the operating system Server 2019, it's already installed. Okay, and now let's go ahead and switch to the full screen. We can just simply use the view, full screen or the key combination, host plus F and the host is the right side control. So making sure the virtual machine is selected and then right side control plus F. It's going to the full screen and we can exit from full screen by the same key combination, the right side control plus letter F. Okay, so we are in the full screen on this virtual machine, server server 2019, and we want to promote this server to be a domain controller. First, we want to make sure the server name and did we set static IP address, all that is correct, which we did. We previously, we did already change the internal uh, networking of these virtual machines. So we changed the NAT to the internal and show you, let me exit from full screen, going back to the virtual box manager. This is our server and virtual machine server. So it's already highlighted and then settings. So here we can see on the network, so this is default, it's NAT, we changed it to the internal networking to create our intranet and under advanced, allow all. So we did that already and we did set the static IP address. Let's go to the virtual machine now, let's go full screen, control F, so switch. Okay, now this is our server 2019 virtual machine. Okay, let's go ahead and double check ncpa.cpl our network connections window, right click properties, did we set static IP address, internal, the intranet protocol version 4 properties, and yes, we did set static IP address and preferred DNS. This server will be also a DNS server. So let's go ahead and set the DNS address 192.168.1.19. I'm using same, um, basically we will install DNS on the same virtual machine. So using this virtual machine IP address as a DNS server address. And because this is internal networking, I don't need a default gateway. This is just for the lab demonstration, creating intranet. So having this virtual machine, domain controller and other virtual machines, let's say client operating systems and joining to the domain. So creating this internal networking. And um, so that's why we don't need default gateway right now. And this is our static IP address already set using class C, default subnet mask 255.255.255.0. So first we wanna make sure we have static IP address. And which here we can see we do have used the following IP address. That's an example of static IP address, okay? Let's click close. And then let's check the computer name. We can just simply open up command prompt and then type host name and computer name, okay, server DC, all right. And uh, well, we can also click start server manager and then on server manager window, we can see local server. Here we can see the computer name and the IP address. Now let's go ahead and promote this server to be a domain controller. So we have to go back to the dashboard. We have to be on the server manager. Here we can see add roles. Again, how did I access server manager? Simply click start server manager. Okay, so under dashboard here, we can see add roles. And let's click next. This is a role based installation. It's selected already. Next, our server is selected here. Basically, we have ability to install roles on the remote servers if we add any other servers here. But this is the only server we have. It's uh, this computer pretty much, this virtual machine. So server is selected. Next. And here we want to select Active Directory Domain Services. So selecting this one and then click Add Features and DNS, Add Features. Because when we talk about domain controller, DNS is required for the naming resolution to resolving name to IP address. So what we are doing here, we are promoting this virtual machine, this uh, server to be a domain controller and we are installing DNS server role at the same time as it promoted to be a domain controller. So we are also installing DNS role on this virtual machine. All right, now let's go ahead and click next, 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 and install.
So as we can see, the installation finished. Now we need to promote the server to a domain controller. So let's go ahead, click close. And then here we can see, click and promote this server to a domain controller. So this will be brand new domain controller. Let's say our first domain controller in our corporation. So we have to click on add new forest and then here the name of the domain controller. Let's say Okay, on this window, domain controller options. We have the forest functionality level and domain functionality level. This is for the compatibility. If, let's say if in uh, our corporation, we have multiple other domain controllers and if they are, let's say server 2012, server 2008 or server 2016, and we want to make sure that uh, the domain functionality is also compatible with the other uh, servers. So in this case, we have only server 2019, so it doesn't apply to us. And this is already selected here, server 2016 as domain functionality and forest functionality level. And here, because this is the first domain controller, the domain name system and the global catalog for the indexing, searching the objects between the domain controllers. So it has to be selected. And uh, this is, uh, it cannot be read only domain controller because this is not a backup domain controller. That's why it's grayed out and it's already selected. Okay, the password, this is in case of recovery if uh, our domain controller is malfunctioning and we want to, uh, let's say, uh, go into the restore mode. This is the password that we need to um, type. So I'm using the same password here. And let's click next. For the DNS options window, this message is normal. Click next. Next. Okay, on this window, specify the location of the Active Directory Domain Services database, log files, and syswalls. This is the default directory locations we can change, but we will leave it as a default directory. Click next. Next and and now we can click install, which this will promote the server to be a domain controller server and it is required to restart, which it will automatically restart. Okay, so as we can see now, this is our domain name and using domain administrator account to log in. Now, if I open up command prompt, start CMD, enter. And if I type host name, this is our computer name. And if I type who am I, who we logged in as, so we can see this is domain administrator account. How do we know? Because this is our domain name backslash administrator. By default on a domain controller, all the local user accounts are disabled. So for example, all the USR, mgr.msc and we can see here local users and group to create and manage local user accounts this computer is a domain controller so we have to use active directory users and computers to manage user accounts and groups and every time when we promote a server to be a domain controller it will change its dns address to the default loopback address so let me show you ncpa.cpl network adapter right click properties IP version 4 properties here we can see preferred DNS this is the loopback address so let's go change it back to 192.168.1.19 our server is a DNS server as well so we are using the same IP address as a DNS server address click OK and close close this window let's open server manager start server manager and here we can see if I click tools, this is Active Directory users and computers managing domain user accounts and groups. And this is the DNS. And if I click on DNS to see our DNS manager, this is our server. 
under forward lookup zone which is name to IP address. Here we can see our domain name and our server. So basically I should be able to ping server by name. Let's open up command prompt. Ping 192.168.1.19 pinging by IP address and now pinging by name and it's using IP version 6. FEAD that's like a pipa in IP version 4. FEAD link local address in IP version 6. So let's go ahead and force pinging by version 4 simply by adding dash 4. And as we can see, it is resolving the name to IP address because of the DNS. So our DNS is up and running. And now to see Active Directory users and computers on server manager window, tools, Active Directory users and computers. So here we can see our domain, users container, all the groups and user accounts. And this is the default domain administrator account here, which we're currently logged in as. Again, if I open up command prompt and type who am I, we can see domain admin account. Well, this was an example of how to promote a server to be a domain controller and how to install DNS on server 2019 using VirtualBox. Now to exit from full screen, control F. So thanks for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And to see more tech videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.